Hey guys, barely a week after the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC suspended its planned nationwide strike following the court order restraining the union from proceeding with the planned strike over the removal of fuel subsidy, the Ari Onakankafo of Yoruba land, Gani Adams, urged President Bola Tinubu not to destroy his image by making decisions that will negatively affect Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. If you think you have the power as Jagaban to suppress NLC, what of your image? Adams, Ghani Adams, attacks President Bola Tunubu. Barely a week after the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, suspended its planned nationwide strike following the court's order restraining the union from proceeding with the planned strike over the removal of fuel subsidy. The Ari Onakankafu of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, urged President Paul Tinubu not to destroy his image by making decisions that will negatively affect Nigerians. According to the report published by The Sun, the, he urged Tinubu not to suppress the NLC over the fuel crisis, adding that he should think of what Nigerians would say if he made the decision on an issue without thinking of, of the impact it will have on people. Speaking further, he lamented over the increase in petrol pump price, making it clear that the removal of fuel subsidy should have been done gradually. Record that the NLC planned to embark on a nationwide strike over this bet. The federal government secured a court injunction restraining the NLC from going on strike. While speaking on this, Adam said, If you think you have the power as Jagaban to suppress the NLC, suppress everything, take a court conjunction, uh, what of your image in the eyes of the masses? The people that surrounded you in the political terrain could say, do anything and nothing will happen. But the people that are facing that hardship will be destroying your image in every community in Nigeria. In his words, if you think you have a power as Jagaban to suppress the NLC, you suppress everything, you take a court injunction, what of your image in the eyes of the masses, the people that surrounded you in the political terrain could say, or oh, ga, do anything, you are Jagaban. Nothing will happen. But the people that are facing that hardship will be destroying your image in every community. <laughs> you are pained, and so you shall remain till eternity. Shameless man. I don't think you even know the responsibilities attached to the title. Ari Onakankafu. You carried. I assumed a laughing Iko Babayaye, who mistakenly gave you the title, was still very much around to witness how disgraceful you and how you are putting the highly exotic and respectful title to flood. But it does not surprise persons like me because we, we know. We know you to be a serial betrayer and a traitor like you. They are the perfect. Okay, I can't really get the last uh, line. These are reactions from Nigerians. See, this is what we are facing in this country today. Anybody who will say anything about President Bola Metinubu's uh, deals or or anything about the court case that is going on about the presidential election or the decision is taken. You see these people coming after, you know, Nigerians. Now, it's like this because this man is an Yoruba man. 
If this man that said this thing now were to be from the south, the matter will be IPOB terrorists. That is what they will refer to him. I think enough of this. Everybody have their own opinion. If you don't, if you don't agree on my own opinion, eh, I, I don't think it's right for you to start, to start insulting me. What Nigerians are doing now is really very bad. Now, politicians have set Nigerians against themselves and you are there clapping for them because of the small, small thing when they give you. This is bad. If he said, see, the first subsidy, if you, if you, watch, if you watch his statement, he said the first subsidy would have been a gradual process, not the way it came. The thing is really affecting Nigerians. It's only those people, who, yeah, those people who who are the same people, you know, that this thing is not affecting. But every Nigerian, you know, this is affecting everybody. Transportation has gone high. Prices of things in the market has actually gone high. You understand? And uh, there is no light. There is no light. So what majority of Nigerians are saying... Good and fine, we understand the situation of first subsidy, that there are some persons who, who just sat down on it, you know, using it for their own benefits. That first subsidy would be removed. If you can also recall that during a good Lord Jonathan, the same APC contested against him or protested against him not to remove the first subsidy. Now they don't come back now, they won't remove them. You understand? People say no. Uh, Jonathan said he will remove it. And when you watch our, the, all the presidential candidates, they said they will remove it. You understand? But not like this. Not like this. The very first day in your office, Nigerians started sharing tears of hardship. We they try to cope from the one when we did. You can't add more. And when people try to talk, then you will attack them because they are not praising you in that i want to repeat this again no one is saying that the first subsidy should stay but we are considering the impact this is not having or hitting on nigerians we don't have stable lights there are so many things the the the, the president would have put in place before removing the, removing the first subsidy by then nigerians can go to filling station buy a little of fuel for one thousand naira without filling it but like this, it's not easy. Let me tell ourselves the truth. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.